What is going on, guys? It's me, Trevor, back with another episode of Trev's Outdoor. And today, guys, we are going to talk about the one, the only, the stick bait. So what we got here is a soft plastic watermelon red uh, stick bait here. And uh, we're just gonna show you my favorite ways to rig them, the best ways to fish them, and basically just, you know, where these these applications apply, what time of the year, things like that. All right, guys, so first off, you know, I just have a standard five and a half inch Cinco here. Um, I also have a, uh, I believe it's an extra, just a regular extra wide gap must add hook, um, nothing special. Um, just the simple bass tackle that you're going to need in order to rig these baits, um, these different style tactics of your Cinco correctly. So first, what we got going on is going to be a uh, standard Texas rig style uh, Cinco, probably the easiest, the most um, most versatile bait that you can use in your bass fishing arsenal throughout everybody, every bass fisherman that you will know will throw a Texas rig Cinco. I mean, it's just, it's so good, it works great, uh, it works pretty well almost all times of the year, and uh, it's just lethal. So first off, basically what we're going to do, in order to rig this correctly, we are going to take the Mustad extra wide gap hook. We're going to insert it at the top of your Cinco here until you get to the um, bend of your hook. You're going to thread it on, come back out the bottom, twist your hook all the way to the top, twist it around, and that falls down the twist it around until you come up on the lock, I can get that on there. and there you go. Anyways, as you can see, it's on the lock, and as you can see, where you want to just kind of judge where that bend in your hook comes out on your your stick bait. So I like to bend it a little bit, stick it up in here, pop it out the top, and boom, there you go. It's flush with the bait, um, so it keeps us weedless. There's no hookups, but it still has, I always like to thread mine back into the worm, but it, as you can see, it still has no problem when a bass bites it, it's going to pop out, that hook's coming out. You can set the hook really easy. So guys, basically when I'm going to fish this is, heck, I'll fish this all year round. Um, ponds are probably the best way to fish it. You can fish it weightless like this Texas rig, or you can fish it with a weight, a, uh, a bullet weight sinker. Um, anyways guys, but so basically you can throw it on any any style, rod, line, basically, um, you know, it's just so versatile, it's so, it's so good, I mean, I personally would be comfortable throwing it on anything, uh, and I think it really shines when you're throwing it around some grass or some, some sort of lay down, because it is weedless, it is Texas rigged, you're not going to get hung up, so that's more the, uh, the, uh, the, the, more the reason why people, would you know Texas rig it other than other style rigs? Um, but the thing is, guys, you know it's it's got a decent action. It's gonna fall down, probably just just standard either with a weight's gonna go straight down on its head or it's gonna just kind of shimmy, do kind of shimmy uh, action with it. But uh, I mean, the bass just love them. I don't know what it is. They just really love these Cinco. Sometimes the stick baits are the best. Um, but anyway, so let's get on to our second and probably one of my favorite tactics when it comes to soft plastic stick bait. All right guys, so we are on the second tactic for fishing a Cinco or a soft plastic stick bait. And basically, I'm just gonna use the same hook. You can use um, what most people use is wacky hooks. This is a, a wacky rig um, application for your soft plastic stick baits. But I'm gonna just uh, keep this standard extra wide gap hook going just because it's easier to see. And sometimes when you gotta use it in a pinch, it works just as well. So anyway, guys, uh, if you've never heard of a wacky rig, you've probably been living under the rock for about the last, I don't know, 10 to 15 years. Because really, this has shined throughout the fishing community. As far as YouTube and anything else, you go online, you'll look, and you will see anybody will throw a wacky rig Senko. It is probably the, one of the biggest, uh, biggest tactics that I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, everybody has it in their arsenal. I said it about the Texas rig, but as well as the wacky rig, it's probably just as popular when it comes to bass fishing. So basically, guys, I'm gonna show you how you rig this up. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take this Senko, this uh, just regular the Senko that we just we use, the five and a half inch. We're going to come in, take the extra wide gap hook, insert it middle way of the bait, and we're going to just pop it till you just barely see a little bit of hook exposed on one side of that Senko. And basically, it's going to it's going to shimmy. It's going to shimmy like this all the way down. It's going to do the little flapping action. These bass love. Now I'm talking love this bait. Um, you can throw it on about anything. My personal favorite is throwing it on like a seven foot um, medium to light action spinning rod with um, some probably eight to ten pound fluoro. Um, anything like that really works. Uh, throwing this around, you know, whenever I throw this I want to throw around super heavy cover because obviously it's got an exposed hook. You're probably going to get caught up. So what I like to do is pitch it close to cover but maybe more in the middle parts of your pond. Maybe with some rock things like that, you can throw it in um, anything like that. It really seems to shine during the summertime is the best time to throw it, maybe even in the spring, some in the fall, but mainly in the summer, in my opinion. It's a really deadly weapon whenever the bass are really finicky and need something to bite. You just change your, just change your uh, rig of the Senko up. Um, like I said, this isn't the uh, ideal hook size. You usually want something like a, uh, you know, just a circle hook, some sort of, um, some sort of wacky rigged hook. You can buy the wacky rigged jig head hooks that you can hook in the center. Throw them out there, make it fall a little bit faster. I personally like to do a weightless just because it has that slower fall rate and the bass seem to like it better that way in my opinion. But um, you can do basically whatever you want to with it. So anyways guys, let's get on to my third tactic when it comes to fishing a soft plastic stick bait. Alright guys, so not a whole lot of people do this with a Senko or soft plastic stick bait just because it's not super popular with this bait. Usually a lot of guys will want to use robo worms, um, some sort of trick worm, trick style bait, or you know, something that's pretty flimsy, pretty long, not too thick like this uh, Senko. Basically what I'm talking about is my third tactic, which is just simple shaky head with your Senko. So we're going to rig this up and show you how we do it. Basically just a simple, if you know what a, uh, what a shaky head is, just thread it on, basically like what you're doing with your, your Texas rig till you get to the bend of the hook. Thread it all the way up onto your, up to your uh, jig head here and just pop it out. Make sure that you're, you're pretty well weedless with it. It's shaky headed right there. It's pretty easy, pretty simple, nothing too too hard as you can see but anyways guys so when you're throwing these I like to throw this maybe even on a uh, bait caster instead of a spinning reel you know most people throw your shaky heads on your spinning reels um, I like to throw it on some sort of maybe um, even a bait caster just like medium action style bait caster with some 10 pound fluorocarbon something like that um, honestly it, it doesn't really make a difference to me but you know some people are really really picky on what they use when they throw their finesse style baits. But this bait right here, it, it gives the finesse presentation a little bit more of a power move. Um, kind, of make, kind of makes it like, I don't know how to explain it. I, it just makes it more of a, uh, not quite as finesse. You know, it, it, you can hop it more, you don't have to worry about, you know, dragging along, shaking. I, I, can, I like hopping this, uh, this you know, shaky headed Senko. It works just the same for me. I've caught a lot of fish on the shaky headed Senko. Um, it seems to work, it seems to shine pretty well in the uh, in the late fall, closer to winter time. I don't know what it is, seems like they like it, shaky headed um, the Senko better. So I like to throw it around that time, probably my favorite, maybe even some in the spring when bass are on beds, you can drag it along there. But uh, yeah guys, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, pretty easy, just hopping it along, dragging it, in the middle of some rocks, some even you could throw it by some laydowns if you want to. Um, just basically anywhere you throw a shaky head, you'd want to throw this one. So yeah, guys, we're gonna get on to our fourth and my favorite final tactic with throwing a soft plastic stick bait. Okay, guys, so here we are with my fourth and final tactic when it comes to fishing Senkos or soft plastic stick baits, whatever you want to call them. So, anyways, guys. If you haven't heard, this is a new kind of style um, tactic that's been coming out. A lot of guys, a lot of anglers love to throw them. Um, you know, it's kind of new, kind of, kind of coming more popular, and it's called the Ned Rig. 
So if you've heard of the Ned Rig, usually you just basically see a lot of guys throw, see a lot of guys throwing these uh, small like Cinco stick style baits. Basically what I do when it comes to a Cinco is I just take it right here, just split it halfway, probably yeah, probably about halfway, make it about three and a half inches long, you know. And I, what I have here is a mushroom jig head. It's a small little, uh, small little, you know, Ned Rig style head here. Just insert it here. Just all the way till you get to the bend of your hook, pop it out, and thread it on there. So basically it's doing like that where you have your hook exposed in that way. And this is a deadly, deadly bait, especially during early, early spring and mid all the way through summer and fall. Um, even in the winter time, I've thrown this and caught quite a few bass in ponds and things like that. This is a deadly bait right here, guys. I'll tell you why I think it's a deadly bait. Now, what it does is it cuts your Senko or stick bait in half, so it makes it so much smaller. Um, you could even cut off more than that if you want to. But the thing about it is, guys, it really gives that um, Senko a lot of stand up, and it gives it a good, good little wiggle in the back of the tail. Um, it gives it a lot of action when, on the fall. It gives it kind of a spiral spin when it comes down. Um, this bait, like I said, is like great for catching numbers. You won't catch a whole lot of big bass. In my personal experience, I've caught a lot of fish, just not a whole lot of big ones. Um, but this is probably by far one of my favorites um, because it's just new. It's something that I didn't know much about. And I started throwing it a lot this past year, and I caught a crap ton of bass. A crap ton of bass. And uh, so basically, guys, I throw this on a, uh, usually a spinning gear. I, I mean, the thing about it is, is these Ned Rig heads aren't super heavy, so you don't got a lot of weight when you're casting them out. The, um, I will say an actual Senko or stick bait makes it a little bit heavier to throw, but throwing it on spinning gear, probably seven foot, uh, probably seven foot two or three, medium to medium light action rod, um, something like six pound fluoro um, with maybe a uh, 10 pound, uh, maybe 10 pound uh, braid with a six pound fluoro uh, leader. Something like that really seems to uh, allow the bait to do it's it's unique action and gives it the best sensitivity through your um, through your fishing and everything like that. So it gives you more of an edge on uh, on being able to catch those bass because sometimes the bite on this is a little soft, a little subtle. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of crazy. I've been gone. I've been doing a lot of things. I've been off for about a week or so. So guys, you know, just keep expecting more videos. A lot of hunting stuffs coming soon. Um, got a lot of gear that came in, my camera stuff set up for hunting and things like that. Season will start probably the next week and a half or two weeks, I think. Um, it's still pretty warm here in Missouri, so deer season is going to be a little hit and miss as far as me get, getting to go out because it's going to be hot, I got to work, I got school, things like that. So I'll be still doing quite a bit of fishing when, uh, as this um, fall approaches. All right, guys, so hope you liked today's episode. Like I said, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Hit that bell for notifications of whenever I'm posting videos. And, guys, comment below. Tell me what you want to see next time. Tell me if you liked this video because I kind of, kind of seemed okay, but just tell me if you liked it. And, as always, guys, stay tuned for another episode of Trips Out Peace! We can be here.